Hey, so over the summer I've been working on a kind of rough draft of a game engine for a school project and I've implemented Runtime Compiled C++ and in conjunction with ImGUI. I have links to both in the video description to the GitHub repository. Note that I didn't actually work on either one of those projects, I just implemented it into my engine. So if you've ever worked on a game and you wrote the game logic in C++, you'll know that it can quickly become really tedious because you might change a single number and have to wait, you know, 15, 20 seconds for everything to recompile, relink, and then you might have to navigate back to wherever the change would be reflected in your project, which can quickly take up a lot of your time. So what's cool about Runtime Compiled C++ is that you get one of the benefits of a scripting language, which is namely that you can change your code at runtime and have it immediately reflected in the game. But you also get all the benefits of regular C++, which are um, fast execution speed, and in addition to that, if you have, if you're using Visual Studio or pretty much any tooling for C++, it'll all still work. So for example, the Visual Studio autocomplete still works, uh, Visual Studio Debugger still works, and I'll demonstrate that in a bit. So let's just add an MGUI button at runtime here, a little low button. And if I press Control S, you'll see it right here that runtime compiled C++ will notice that the file has changed and recompile it immediately. So press Control S, you see it does it right there, swaps it out, and right here, you can see our button was added at runtime within just a few seconds, which is a rapid increase over a regular how you'd regularly view it in C++. Um, and I'll show you also how you can debug C++ at runtime. For example, I'm just going to use a random function I have. Sorry, get. I did it again. One moment. And this is just, it doesn't really matter what this function does. The point is, if I recompile it, so now I'm using the new version of this file, and I press break, I put a breakpoint here, it stops just as you'd expect, and now I can debug it just like regular, just like you would regularly. And see, everything's exactly the same as normal. Nothing has changed. So that's really, really cool and really powerful. So as the year goes by and I iron out kind of the kinks in my implementation, I'm gonna, I'm hopefully gonna post a few video tutorials uh, for how to integrate Runtime C++ into your own project. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching.